Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back. This is Bootstrap, and today, today I'm making my first video of the year, and the reason I'm going to make it is because I have recently acquired a brand new 4K display, and uh, because I just recently got it, I've been kind of messing around and see how my uh, current setup of uh, my two GTX 970s uh, handles 4K, and so far, you know, messing around with some settings, it's been it's been playable. It's definitely been playable. So let's see here. Settings for K3840 by 2160. Um, Anti-aliasing, if you guys have ever watched my videos, I didn't even really use much of this when I was playing in 1080p. So uh, obviously don't need it for 4K. Um, very high on the texture. And advance, very high on uh, some things. Went medium on these. These tend to be the most... Uh, taxing of your options uh, for your uh, post press uh, processing and uh, you know general f prettiness of the game but um, I've found that it, even at medium this still looks awesome um, and uh, you know you don't have to have as much VRAM uh, because these also typically will be the type of settings that will use up uh, the most VRAM so with these settings uh, I've been pretty happy uh, with how the game's running, and I'll show you how it's running. So let's uh, I'll go ahead and start a new campaign here. Twenty-three years ago. Yep, I think we've all seen that a million times. So I'm going to skip past this stuff. Okay. Here, take my back up. Dave, it's three to come out. Now, one thing I haven't been able to work out is you see how that HUD's just going absolutely crazy. I don't know if it'll show up in the recording or not. It's just absolutely flickering like nuts, and it's I ch changed the HDMI cables and everything like that. It's definitely not that, uh, but for some reason, if you go here, uh, do this. Uh, basically select the same settings you're already on and then all of a sudden the HUD fixes up so I don't know so now the reason I'm starting from the very beginning is because there are uh, once you get into this game there are parts where you're gonna be hitting like uh, up to 80 frames per second with these settings but at the same time uh, on this type of you know in the very beginning it's like the most taxing part of the game uh, so I not only wanted to show you guys where you know you hit up the high uh, but also that uh, where, you know, you are going to see this. This isn't typically the type of frame rate that I would like to play at. But it doesn't last very long at all, as you'll see here. Um, even as we move on with this mission. I always lose this dude. Oh, there he is. Now, as I run up here, you're going to see slowly the frame rate is going to start climbing. Now, also, of course, I'm using Shadow Play to record, so... Obviously, you're going to lose some performance there as well. But once we hit here and we're kind of out of the the crazy rain physics, uh, the frame rate starts climbing pretty nicely. Now we're above 50. And once we get up here, we get into really nice frame rates. There we go. So... And now we're above 60, and for the most part, again, when you're not recording, uh, you're well above uh, 60 in this area. So, let's see here, just kind of give you an idea. But yeah, even with the, you know, generation old card of the 970, you get two of them together, and uh, you can play pr some pretty demanding games in uh, 4K. Now, obviously, I know the Crisis is not the newest game out there. But uh, it's still very benchmarked and very relative because of uh, just how much of a kick to the balls it is to your PC. We'll oh, we're going through the front door. A so better hide and crouch. No one's crazy enough to give this a go. Let's do this quietly. QRX teams on standby. 
got you. I always get those buttons wrong. I don't know why. All right. So now we'll go out here. And you know what I'm going to do? I'm just going to kind of like alert these guys. Screw it. And uh, kind of let shit go crazy. So we can kind of see. Because that way we got a lot of stuff going on. Let's do that. Oh, yeah. Okay. I forgot. That was ugly. So, as you saw, you know, frames are pretty decent. Um, for the most part, inside anyway, uh, you're going to be over 60. Um, and from my experience, as far as uh, I, did, again, didn't get to test a whole bunch, uh, but from what I did see, I was able to keep uh, pretty nice frame rates. Um, all the way through so um, I'll try and uh, obviously as time permits do some more uh, benchmarking with this setup now that I have uh, I will be upgrading to new um, getting some new video cards at some point or video card this year I'm just not sure exactly when I'm gonna do it right now like I said the testing I have done the two 970s for at least games that'll support uh, the uh, SLI, I'm not having too much problem even pushing games in 4K at pretty nice settings. Obviously, VRAM does become an issue with the 3.5 limit. Uh, even with these settings, uh, right now, you guys can see up there, we're at, uh, at least the request is for um, 3,348 megabytes of uh, VRAM. So, uh, you know, it's not... Uh, got too much room to spare even if I did have more grunt power but uh, and of course the cards are overclocked I've got a hundred and fifty uh, megahertz core overclock on these 970s I didn't really overclock the memory I found that ki kind of caused way too much instability and uh, for the overclock and uh, you know I, I from the testing I did do I didn't see that much of a gain so uh, I'm kind of sticking with just the uh, core overclock, but uh, this was just a kind of quick video, kind of let you guys know I'm now in the 4K realm, and um, you know, hopefully bring you guys some more videos uh, with 4K. I mean, I mean, after all, the the only thing that's happened this year is like me getting a 4K. I mean, it, it's not like any kind of new CPUs or anything have come out or anything, right? So. <laughs> anyway, hey man, everybody have a great uh, rest of your day and uh, check back for uh, more videos in 4K. Bootstrap. Yes.